you doing, guys? Um, I'm just going to start off, just, just say, like, since I moved to Edinburgh, I've had a few tough gigs. I find it hard to relate to people sometimes, and I've been thinking about why that is for me. And some of it, it's coming back to my childhood and where I'm from. I'm actually from Mayo in the west of Ireland. Uh, <laughs> and Mayo, if, if you're not familiar with it, Mayo is like a mental asylum that doesn't have any walls. <laughs> Like, I know people that are genuinely certifiable, and that, that affects you when you grow up with it. So, uh, a guy my father knows, he's a, a farmer, and his dog savaged the postman's leg. And what you're supposed to do in that scenario is take the postman, or t post take the dog to be put down. <laughs> a bit extreme. And uh, a couple of weeks later, Dad goes, Jesus, Daniel, will we call up to Seamus, see what he's doing? I said, fair enough, you're eight, you're kind of, or I'm eight, you're kind of in control, Dad. You'd probably be driving. <laughs> and we go up to the house, we walk in, and Dad says, Well, Seamus, did you get rid of the dog, did you? And uh, Seamus turns around and goes, I didn't. I have him tied up down the back. <laughs> Jesus, Seamus, you best get rid of him. If the police come and he's still here, they won't be happy. No, the police were here. They said, it's fine, I can keep him. Why is that, Seamus? I knocked his teeth out with a hammer. <laughs> I, I never had a chance. I mean, like when I try and write normal jokes for people, like if I wanted to write like a funny joke about uh, burning the dinner and then my wife's reaction to it, what I would do is say, wife, I shall be preparing dinner this evening. And what I would do then is put on dinner and I would burn the living fuck out of it and wait until the fire had become dangerous, and then go, wife, the dinner has burned. And when she walks into the room, I'll stand there with a notebook and write down the things that she says. And from previous experience, it's things like, why do you keep doing things like this? <laughs> You're supposed to love me. And then I end up saying things like, say things that are funnier, an audience won't laugh at that. Um, another problem I've been having is, I, I lived in Asia for five years, and that kind of messes, it messes, messes you up a bit, I suppose, for talking with people that haven't done that. And, uh, I don't know, it's weird coming back now. I mean, it, what I've, what I've realised is it's, it's more about culture, because I, I ended up over there thinking like, what, is, what makes me, what makes Dan? Is it my genetics or is it just culture? And I've come to the conclusion it is culture entirely. Like if we did a little Vietnamese boy here, right? And I wanted to say like, good job, and pat him on the head. You know what he'd do? He'd fucking freak out. Because in Vietnamese culture, the spirits of your ancestors communicate with you through the top of your head. So your hand will block that, okay? Now, if you took a little Vietnamese boy and you brought him to Dublin and he was adopted and raised as a little Dublin Irish child. You know what he'd say if you put your hand on his head? You know what he'd do? He'd say, get your fucking hands off me, you fucking pedophile. <laughs> See, it's culture. What the other thing, the last thing I've noticed really is, it's scenery is the main thing that's different. They have things over there in Vietnam that we wouldn't understand, nor would we tolerate. They have a fruit there called a durian. Has anyone heard of a durian? Yeah? Okay, I'm going to describe it. You may or may not agree. Well, a durian is like an alien egg sac that hangs off a tree. And it just fucking reeks of shame. <laughs> and the taste is this marriage of sugar and sperm. <laughs> and I know you're looking at me now going, Dan, you don't look like you take care of yourself well enough to be gay. <laughs> How do you know what sperm tastes like? Well, I was getting to that, and never interrupt me. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm with my good lady wife, and she's taking care of me orally, and I finish, and she comes up, and she wants to kiss me, but she can't because I have three dicks in my mouth. <laughs> Thank you, on that note. <laughs>